Cheat you. All right, it's almost exactly where we left off yesterday. I think we were slightly further up the path. I did my dailies and stuff this morning and some farming last night. So we're not in exactly the same spot. Genshin before, the combat is pretty, um, th pr it's typical-ish third-person RPG combat, with the one difference being, you can see how I switch between characters, so the gotcha mechanic in the game where you collect characters out of loot boxes is, uh, you build teams of four of them. And a lot of the combat is combo-focused, so this team that I'm playing with is called a freeze team. So we've got two people that generate ice elements, one person that generates water elements. When you mix those, it freezes the enemies that they go on. And then the fourth one is a uh, wind element person that gives you bonuses on them. On your other swirls. It's very, very anime, but I enjoy it. Yes, Breath of the Wild, ask exploration as well. The map is just absolutely huge. Big, big, big map. There's still a bunch over here I haven't seen yet. Yeah, I'm told it's free to play friendly. I'm a dolphin. I've spent money. I am not a whale by any means, but we're, we're dolphin sized. They don't put the gotcha in your face like other games, like Raid Shadow Legends starts popping up deals like two minutes into the client. This game doesn't do that. In fact, they don't ever really do deals. Things are just like cost what they cost. Oh. Look, over there, it's Razor. And the Abyss Herald. You, not welcome here. It does have, the character building does kind of have some deck building type elements to it. You mix and match your elements and there's artifacts and stuff you build on the characters too. <laughs> so. The wolf's wretched spirit likes to raise wild pups now. You claim to be a guardian, yet your once sharp claws have clearly dulled since your days of godly glory. If you serve us, we can restore your divine powers you once held in the past. Lies. Wolves never surrender, but this can't go on. No matter how many times you resist us, your efforts are all in vain. Bow before the abyss. All hail, born of ice and fog. Life out. Judgment. Animal hyperspace emulation. Each yet, if you freeze him, he can't move. It's a good system. You can't run. Because he's very scary when he can move, so making him not move is ideal. Judgment. Blaze over. We're waiting. Stand clear. Yeah, you can't run. You can't run. Absorb you don't break my glass. Access denied. Come on, focus. For Rex Lapis. Covenant of the Deep! The end is now. 
See what I build if you had all of the characters. I don't know. Like, I haven't gone super tryhard into this game. I've been playing it a bunch, but part of the fun of playing games like this, especially if you're only free to play or dolphin size, is like figuring out what you can build with what you have. So that's what I've done. No matter. This is but a small unforeseen variable. Our grand scheme will not be affected. And he's out. It disappeared again. A few of the characters I have are considered top tier, though, like uh, Ginyu and Sucrose and Kokome. We ran Thank away you. quickly. You came just in time. Human Lubakal. I am ashamed that you must see me in my present state. But still, the Abyss Herald underestimated my strength. He literally had you tied up, dude. Lupus Boreas never refuses trial, but scary outsider, not respect trial rules. Yes, the blonde anime boy is our traveler character who you can play as, but their mechanics and skills tend to be worse than the other characters that you can open. But anytime we're in the story bits, the blonde character is us. I too didn't see the trap. Wait, so you mean the Abyss Order had everything prepared to corrupt Lupus Boreas's mind, then lured him out under the pretense of challenging him in a trial? Thank you. In the future, my claws must get sharper. You smelled danger and came here? The Dendro version is actually good right now. That's the dark green color. I'm still learning all of the elements. I don't have characters for all of them. No, we heard about the danger. Paimon's nose doesn't even know what danger smells like. Besides coming to help, we actually have something to ask you about too. Ah, uh, excuse us, Mr. Wolf God. Do you know anything about the first field tiller? I pay no heed to the contraptions of humans. I know not what this field tiller is. Though there was indeed one human-made machine that I can never forget. I don't know what this thing is, but let me tell you about it. Hold on. It entered into my proving ground by accident, and I mistook it for a challenger. But it could not. I eventually damaged it greatly with one of my attacks. Before it fell to the ground, it fled the proving ground. Hmm. By the sounds of it, it's possible that could have been the very first field tiller, right? Missiles. I do not know this strange word. As I said, oh come I on, there's magic missiles, the dude. Contraptions of humans. It could spin, leap high into the air, and even shoot fireballs. Although no match for a god, it was stronger than even many who wield visions. Fireballs? Hey, didn't we hear this somewhere else recently as well? Anyway, this pretty much proves that the first field tiller came to Mondstadt, doesn't it? It sounds like the first one was way stronger than the mass-produced ruin guards that came after. Yeah, that tracks. But in this story, it was damaged at the proving ground while fighting the Wolf of the North. Don't know, but did we help? Yes, you were a big help. Thanks. We need to keep investigating something super important. The Abyss Herald may have left, but the Abyss's forces are still attacking. You two be careful. Yes, I smell more danger. Bigger danger. You two also be careful. That was some good intel. Quick, let's go tell Dane. <laughs> Hey, 
Isn't there usually a jump point up there? Is it disabled because of the quest <laughs> run? Not there's usually a waypoint up there. Uh, you have to actively play for this game for the the dungeons and stuff. No, no auto meddler features. I spend probably twenty minutes a day running through my resin and doing the daily quests. I mean, obviously, I play longer if I'm like hunting down extra materials, fighting things. Oh, maybe the teleport point was there. I just need to click, click different. Yeah, I probably could have clicked on it. Did you see Master Jean? I saw her, but purposely avoided her. As both the Lion Fang Knight and acting Grand Master, she naturally would have some reservations towards me. If I'm not careful, one day I may find myself becoming the object of one of her investigations. But back to the matter at hand. I defeated some of the Abyss forces, but wasn't able to gather any information. Did you have more success? Tell Dane what we learned. God bless. I see. Well then, we can more or less figure out where the first field tiller ended up. Huh? Really? Just from the Lupus Boreas story? That information combined with a more comprehensive analysis. For example, the old story you told me you heard in the cathedral. Exactly. The strange story told to you by that young sister. Long mistaken to be a curse rained down by a deceased tyrant. Oh, the fireballs were probably missiles. Ah, Paimon gets it. So the tyrant's final fury was really just missiles fired from the field tiller after it ran from Wolvendom. After it was damaged in the fight with the Wolf of the North, it must have wandered into the ruins of Old Mondstadt and stayed there. Then, whenever anyone got close, pew, pew, boom, it would fire a ton of missiles at them. Until one day, it finally broke down for good, and the fireball stopped raining from the sky. Back then, the people of Mondstadt hadn't seen many ruin guards before. So they came to interpret it as the Tyrant's Final Fury. It looks like we need to make a trip to Storm Terror's lair and comb the entire area. Hmm, huh. what do you mean? Huh? You mean... Oh, Paimon remembers too! We saw that abandoned ruin guard sitting atop the tower when we went there before. Can't forget something like that. Oh, yeah, he's down underneath. Hey, friend. Nothing, Chip. Huh? Nothing? Oh, but Paimon was so excited. Uh, what's going on? Are you sure you did it right? This requires another method. Using elemental sight on a field tiller is of no use because it is not powered by the elements. Let me give it a try. Done. Wow! It's... it's a... 
The very thing the Abyss Herald has been seeking all along. The Eye of the First Field Tiller. All of the Ruin Guards today are just replicas of this machine. As the prototype, its combat capability was unrestricted. Prototype? Oh, Paimon doesn't know that word. Is it another ancient term from Conria? As the Abyss Order has surmised, if this eye is placed in the hands of the defiled statue, and if the limbs of Osile, overlord of the Vortex, are attached to the statue, there you have a mechanized god. And this newly born god will have the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Must be yes. stopped. Then, what should we do with this eye? I'm sure he's going to disagree with us regardless of what we say. No. I'll guard it myself. Huh? You? Uh, Dane? Mm, you won't go and do anything crazy with it, will you? You may doubt me if you wish, but I must ensure it does not fall into the wrong hands. No matter where we may hide it, they will find it. And as for the Church of Favonius, well, you know I don't trust them. Oh, <laughs> right. But our work isn't done yet. To avoid any further repercussions, we must also take care of that defiled statue. We can't have the church get involved. Let's handle it ourselves. As for what I mean by take care of it, naturally I mean to completely destroy it. Naturally. D destroy it? That's a statue of the seven! As well as being a really important cultural relic, they're actually divine too! Oh, well, good thing we didn't tell Barbara earlier. Otherwise, she'd be going completely bonkers right now. Oh, huh. Barbara. Do the Seven really expect me to help them look after what belongs to them? Let's go back to those ruins and destroy the inverted statue. If we are lucky, we will also run into that Abyss Herald. I'll make sure it doesn't get away this time. Third time's the charm, right? We've already beaten the Herald twice. Did I really not tag that one up there? That's fine. We wanted to jump here to heal anyways, I suppose. Avoid that one. All right, we're annoying. A closer map point to here, right? What does it look like it? Is this thing gonna let us avoid it? I think they can fly. Stop and grab whatever this dungeon is here as a waypoint in case we ever gotta come back out this way again. Does chat all agree that I'm supposed to wait till AR-45 to start farming farming artifacts? That seems to be the common consensus among Genshin players.
Yeah, I've leveled up my fours and fives that I'm using and a couple of my threes for stats. So after all that running around, we end up right back here again. Look at us. We barely escaped this place last time, and now we're strolling right back in. The opposite way that we went before. Surely we must be some of the bravest adventurers in all of Tavat. That are the stupidest. To get to that creepy stack. Why not both? We just need to follow the path we used to escape last time. That should take us right to it. Yep, that'll work. Let's go, and remember to be on your guard. My little pit stop on the wall might bite us here. I'm not sure if we can grab this. I don't think we can. Man, we almost, we would have first tried it too. I thought I could stop on the wall and uh, like dodge the dodge the bubble. RNG. Yeah, that's that's how these games keep people grinding though in the end game. Looking for ideal things like that. Looks like we're here. An eerie, lifeless, dark chamber. I understand the evil aura you were describing earlier. I just use my resin to farm whatever I need to get upgrades for my character's tail moves. So if I need books, I do books. If I need upgrade materials, I farm the bosses for upgrade materials, etc. And I make sure to do everything for the battle pass weeklies. Oh, such a scary place. Be careful to not be overwhelmed by the power of the defiled statue. The Abyss Herald, it's here. <laughs> you sense correctly. You like to be beaten down for a third time, bud? You are just as vexatious as ever, Dane's Lift, enemy of the Abyss. Uh, the Angels deck ended up losing to Blue Black Mill, and I felt like that was a good sign to go play Genshin. Tim, Tim, Tim. It was a little rough. I sense your soul is stained by terrible bloodshed. Perhaps from your darkest nightmares. Unless... Oh, and something far more dangerous. You reek of a corruption familiar to me. Then we are the same. We're both dangerous. But dangers from outside of the Abyss Order must be caught and caged. It is your words that forever reek of corruption. Time to silence you. No touching. Animal test sixty three away. Yeah. Hold the line. Allow judgment. Yeah. What a nuisance. Yeah. All hail. Oh, my unite moves were. Water type, we should probably not be using her. The end. Born of ice and frost. All hail. Hold the line. Judgment. Animal test 6308. You can't run. Access denied. Judgment. 
their cutscene combat's really well done in this game. I have to imagine their anime is gonna be excellent. This is our sister, right? Actual name. I finally found you. Oh, wait, she just blocked an attack against the Abyss Herald. Your sister and the Abyss? Ether, why are you with Dane? Asking about uh -huh. Dane? Why are you asking about something that Your doesn't matter? Knows Dane? Lumine, we meet again. Uh, what's going on here? Dane knows her too? You shouldn't team up with this man. He is my enemy. Lumine. <sighs> but it must be said. <sighs> Don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop the Abyss. That man, Danesleth, was the Twilight Sword. One of the royal guards of the final dynasty of Conria. 500 years ago, he failed to prevent the destruction of Conria. What do you do if you pick the female character? Is it your brother? Yeah, I assume so, RPG fun. I'm sure there's folks in chat that are playing as the, the female characters. That's that how it works out. A curse of immortality was laid upon him to forever wander the wilderness while he watched the people he was supposed to protect turn into monsters of the abyss. They are the old people. You are saying Dane is from Conria? The same Conria that was destroyed 500 years ago? And you said the people turned into monsters? You're trying to tell Paimon that the Abyss Order is not only related to Conria, but is actually the people of Conria themselves? Uh, and the whole thing about Dane being your enemy. Oh, uh, Paimon's so confused. Home. Yes. Of course. Home is wherever we are together. But I cannot go with you to the next world to find a new home. At least, not yet. Until the Abyss has engulfed the thrones, my war with destiny will see no end. Listen to me, Aether. I have already traveled through this world once. Once you reach the end of your journey as I did, you will see for yourself the true nature of this world. I wonder if they'll give you a choice when they finally come to the end of the game about which one you side with. <clears throat> that would be an open world type game to thing to do. So we'll meet again. Huh? Though we need not rush, brother. I have more than enough time to wait for you. <laughs> I like how they're all stop and smell the roses and enjoy your open world game. We have always had enough time. Apparently, her voice gets more annoying in the more recent content, Rufio. <laughs> oh, don't be too sad. We'll find them again. Look on the bright side. At least we got some really useful information. Uh-huh, that's right. At least now, as well as the seven, Dane is also a key part of finding your sibling too, right? Once so we get in Azuma, we should keep that in mind as we look for more clues. That's right. By the way, what they said just now is all pretty confusing. Did you understand it at all? Oh, so this is this is what people. I don't know that I. They, her voice is markedly different than the earlier stuff. Oh, well then, let's go over. 
over it again. First off, that Abyss Herald called your sister Princess. I I like this storytelling mechanic that they do where they have your character give information to the other characters and they repeat it back to you to reinforce what you should know. It seems like your sister is leading the Abyss Order. Even the Abyss Herald answers to her. Still, we don't know for sure if she's the highest ranking leader in the organization. Also, your sister said that she wants to engulf the thrones and go to war with destiny. What the heck does that mean? Could it be that she wants to destroy the Seven and the Seven Nations? Next thing, turns out the Abyss Order monsters are really what the people of Conria turned into after their nation was destroyed. This story is just plain terrifying. Sad. And Dave is from Conria too! He witnessed its destruction 500 years ago. But he didn't turn into a monster. And now he's fighting the Abyss Order. So that's why your sister said that Dane is her enemy, right? But if the monsters of the Abyss are the same people that Dane protected all those years ago, then why is he enemies with the Abyss Order now? Also, how come... After all this time we spent searching for your sister, it turns out she's on the side of the abyss. What's up with that? Lots of new questions and few answers. Yeah, we got a few more wait. regions to get through before we get answers. Um, we can't let ourselves get down about it now. Our journey's not over yet. Let's get a move on. Time to leave this terrible dark place and get back to the surface where the sun shines bright. If your sister wants you to reach the end of your journey, well then, show her what you're made of. Come on, Traveler, let's go. Yeah, keep at that open world game, Traveler. All right, so as a path through the storm, is a path through the storm the one we wanna do? Is that the one? I'm trying to get to the place where we can get Kokomi materials, chat. I think that's the one chat said we needed to do the other day. Are we getting close? I'm tired of her being stuck at 40. Yeah, I mean, obviously you gotta walk around the region and explore. That's how they all work. We're getting close, cool. I ain't played for another hour, hour and a half today, so maybe we'll get, we'll get close-ish. I did upgrade a bunch of Kokomi's artifacts at least though, so she's not paper anymore. She's up to, uh, I think she's got the most health in my group now. Yeah, by a little bit. She's up to 13,000. Or other numbers go up. Oh my gosh, there was a waypoint right there. Mistakes are made. Must be more to this than meets the eye. She said we needed to reach the end of our journey. I'm on bet she still has lots more to tell us. And we won't find out what this journey is or where it will end unless we keep going. Thank but you, Paimon. Mention it, partner. Travel buddies are supposed to look out for one another. Although, where should we go next? If we want to continue with the journey. Hmm. 
find that god. Oh, you mean the god that took your sister away in the first place? You're right. After all, everything that followed, all this confusion, it all started with her. Yeah, Paimon bets she's the key to understanding this whole mystery. Hey, thanks for the 31 months, Magus. Getting close on our next trillionaire. Well, we've ruled out two gods so far, the Animal and Geo Archons. So, next... Hmm... Paimon doesn't think we can simply walk into Inazuma. Zhang Li said it was a closed nation. We'll have to find some other way in. <gasps> Why don't we ask someone from Inazuma how to gain entrance? Oh, Paimon spotted someone already! Atsuko, in Lea Harbor! She's from Inazuma! Let's see what she has to say! So is Inazuma not even on the, the main map that I look at here? Isn't it, isn't it a different different section? Yeah, you too, Twin to Win. Appreciate you dropping by. <laughs> oh, I wasn't zoomed in enough on the map earlier, so I'm missing the waypoints. It's out on the ocean to the east. Oh, it's out over here? Oh, I missed. God, this map is massive, Chet. Wow. So is this all the new area? That's huge. Sure, a lot of it's water. That makes sense. I mean, good fortune, right? I'm still learning to talk like a local. <laughs> Is there anything I can help you with? We wanted to ask, how do we get into Inazuma? Oh, so that's why you're here. Well, there is a way. Great, we came to the right person. But the chance of success is incredibly small. It's our specialty. Ah, incredibly small? Then how did you get out of Inazuma in the first place? It was in leaving Inazuma that I found out just how dangerous this method truly was. All I had to rely on was a little wooden raft that I'd put together myself. There was a storm raging ahead of me, and my pursuers were close on my tail. After I'd escaped their clutches, I floated on the open ocean for, I don't know how many days. My rations and fresh water supplies soon ran out, and I remember getting to the point where I was sure I'd reached the end. Then, I blacked out. Is Inazuma not a good place, chat? Seems like a lot to go through. But, to my surprise, my journey didn't end there. Or to put it another way, a new beginning found me. Ah, that's right. I escaped by the skin of my teeth. The fact that I'm even alive to tell the tale must be a sign that the gods were watching over me. What a horrible journey! And you set off knowing how dangerous it was? Why? Why is a good well, question. Because everything is just too restrictive over there. The atmosphere is so stifling. The Kanjo Commission subjects everyone leaving or entering the nation to a protracted approval process, and I felt like I didn't belong there. Kanjo Commission? What's that? Along with the other two commissions, they oversee everything in Inazuma. We usually collectively refer to them as the Tri-Commission. I suppose they're equivalent to the eight trades under the Liyu Chising. One of the obligations of the Kanjo Commission is to conduct rigorous identity checks on all individuals leaving or entering Inazuma. All non-nationals are processed centrally on Rito upon arrival. Meanwhile, the Tenryo Commission is responsible for implementing the recently promulgated Vision Hunt Decree. They act like the executive arm of the Raiden Shogun's rule. Loyal, yet unfeeling. It doesn't feel good to speak ill of my home like this. But after spending so long under that oppressive atmosphere, 
I begin to lose all hope for the future. What I mean to say is, unless you have an extremely compelling reason to go to Inazuma, you should abandon your plans of trying to get there. <sighs> you should know that the sea around Inazuma is engulfed in a perpetual tempest of wind and rain. Supposing you survive that, you would still need to get past the samurai guards that enforce the Sakoku Decree, the closed nation policy of Inazuma. And even if you did manage to find a way, you'd still have to produce the necessary documentation at the Rito Center for processing Outlanders. Otherwise, you'd be kicked out immediately. So you have to fight your way in, but then also still provide Seems paperwork? Like you really don't want anyone setting foot in Inazuma, huh? They only set that up as a port to guarantee a supply of goods and information to the island. Most Outlanders would be unable to acquire the documentation needed. But if you really are set on going, there is one thing you could try. Uh, the raft idea sounds a little on the dangerous side. Plus, Paimon would definitely get seasick. That's not what I meant. You could ask someone from the Crux Fleet if they have some way of getting you to Inazuma. They're well known in Liyue. Voyaging far and wide has made them a well-traveled group with a wide range of experiences. They may just know how to break through the storm. But it's an armed fleet, right? Why would they agree to a request like this? That part is up to you. If you're able to persuade their captain, Beidou, then the hardest part will be out of the way. The Alcor is the flagship of the Crux fleet. I heard that it's currently anchored by Guyunstone Forest on a supply run. This might be your best chance. Then there's no time to lose. Let's go find Captain Beto. Hey, Captain. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Oh, look at that. Past Jeff trekked out here for some some stuff. Got yeah, good guy past Jeff. I will say the way they spread upgrade materials and stuff out across the map, it makes... I don't, I'm not usually super big on exploration in open world games, but the way it feels like it's encouraging me to explore in a non-forced way is nice. Because I've incidentally just had a lot of the map open from doing other stuff I wanted to do for making my numbers go up. Which feels like a good system. Am, am I supposed to just swim out here, chat? Is that is that the line, or is there something else I'm supposed to do? <sighs> you walk across frozen water. Oh. Do we can climb up this rope? Don't mind me. Just scale on the side of your boat. This isn't voiced? Looking for the captain? Does she look like she's someone you just come looking for as you please? Someone get over here, tie this stowaway up, and feed him to the fish. Alright, what's the ruckus? Troublemaker stuck in here, said they're looking for. Well, they're up to no good, I'd wager. I thought I'd just deal with this for me to. 
All right, stop scaring people. Any old how or Captain Beetle will scold you upside. All right, off you go to cool your head. Now then, Traveler, what business might you have with the captain? I'd like to go to Inazuma. My ship? You best see the captain herself about this. She's on board right now. Seems like she's been deep in thought recently. Keep your eyes open and try not to disturb her. We've also been anchored here for quite a while due to her orders, which led to quite a few delays. If you're willing, why don't you go around the ship and see who needs help? Yeah, I haven't I haven't met the captain of this ship before. Go to the Alicor and meet with me, dude. When I'll be able to go into the city, promise to take me shopping. I go play with Cheng Cheng. Last time I told Cheng Cheng I would play with her when I got back, but now she'd still be able to go to the city, right? Can you help me out? Gotcha covered. All right. I didn't mean to talk to you, child. Where's the captain at, Chad? Someone backseat me. Do I need to talk to people? Certainly on a boat. Sea Drake up into the left. Bookkeeper. The front of the boat. All right. here wait i know you you're that traveler aren't you the one who fought against the fatui and osile right <laughs> ningguang told me about you a traveler of great insight and remarkable skill has saved liua she said is she a collectible character chip please, so praise from her is high praise indeed i remember thinking at the time that it'd be good to meet you in person judging by the clothes on your back and <laughs> this floating thing I guess that time has come. Hey! The name's not Floating Thing! It's Paimon! Paimon? Hmm. What a fascinating being. You two give off not only the essence of wind and earth, but also of... Yes. The stars. Huh? The fragrance of what now? That's the weirdest compliment Paimon's ever heard. Pay it no heed. I mean only to say I am certain that it is by fate, not chance alone, that we should meet. And that gives our encounter meaning. This must be your bard for hire. Uh, I prefer other means of entertainment. This young man is Kaidahara Kazuha, a temporary addition to my crew for reasons I won't bore you with. Occasionally he opens his mouth and flowers come out instead of words. <laughs> with this fine ship and the soft sea breeze, would it not be romantically irresponsible of me not to acknowledge it with a line or two of poetry? <laughs> well, I can't argue with that. Okay, then. Once the clash is underway, I'll give you a chance to perform. Only if the mood takes me, of course. Poetry for poetry's sake tends to lack meaning. Hey, you don't want to pass this opportunity up too easily. Especially seeing as our great hero here might be in attendance. What's the clash? Uh, also, just to clarify, by great hero, do you mean... Huh? I thought you might be here to sign up. You're telling me you've never even heard of it? The Crux Clash is a martial arts tournament that I hold. There'll be a whole bunch of folks taking part to showcase their talents. There are two important rules. One, competitors must be renowned fighters. We want those with real martial arts ability, not just people taking part for the fun of it. Imagine doing something for fun, Chet. What a ca what filthy casuals. Why is Chet only in sub-only mode when you play arena? Have you ever met a Magic the Gathering player before? 
So, you've got nothing to worry about there? I don't think there's anyone out there who hasn't heard of you. Two, you can't take part if you've got a vision. Otherwise, things get a little one-sided. Take part if you got a vision. We do. I don't have vision, but... <laughs> you must be feeling confident, but you might want to watch out. There are a few crouching tigers and hidden dragons lurking around in Liyue. All on the nose. And with Liyue's savior taking part in the tournament, now that's going to turn a few heads. I think we can expect a healthy turnout this time. But we didn't come here to take part in a martial arts tournament. Well, before you dismiss the idea completely, you might be interested to hear that the prize this time round is particularly sought after. Get this. It's a masterless vision. Supplied by myself, as a matter of fact. If the tournament champion can reawaken that vision, it belongs to them. Ah. Is there really such thing as a masterless vision? When a vision bearer dies, the light in their vision will fade away. But the shell that housed that light remains. As for whether this shell has any practical application, well, this remains to be seen. But my intuition tells me that while it remains in the world, it may just be possible for someone else to inherit it. Will this give us another element on the main character, I'm assuming? Yeah, some have done. Some have done. If people want to backseat me while we play magic, they can at least uh, chip me a fiver first to help me stay around. The less obnoxious answer to is my non-magic content is less popular, so there's less people here, so there's less of a problem with chat on average. Yep, and the way I see it, a vision is a badge of recognition from the gods. So if anyone's able to rekindle it, it's got to be an individual of exceptional strength and talent. Organizing the clash is my way of uncovering hidden talents. And hopefully this time, getting a vision to glow again. So if you don't have a vision, this is the perfect opportunity to get your hands on one of your very own. Vision is of no use to me. Yeah, That's accurate. We're interested in getting to Inazuma, not fighting in some tournament. Inazuma? You want to go there? Well, why didn't you say so? Inazuma, no sweat. In that case, if you win the tournament, I'll give you a choice. Masterless Vision, or a ticket to Inazuma aboard the Alcor. Up to you. You just want him to take part in your tournament! He is, uh, he's a big influencer, Chad. She wants him on board. <laughs> What's wrong with that? The more talent we have, the better the tournament will be. I couldn't let a competitor like you fall through the net. What are we gonna do? <sighs> Looks like we pretty much have to do this tournament if we want to get to Inazuma, huh? <laughs> Great. Then let's get you signed up. Head to the tournament arena in Guyun Stone Forest. Kazuha and I will be over soon. It seems like it will only be a matter of time before the answer is revealed. The boat being off the side of this island that you jump off and swim to has big, we added this section after the rest of them energy. Which is obviously the case, but it definitely feels like that a little bit. Boat's been there from the start? Really? Before we sign up, let's see who the other competitors are. Beta said that they had to be renowned fighters. Hmm. Who will we be up against? Uncle Yun. Are you here to compete in the Crux Clash? You bet I am. Have you put your names down yet? I'm gonna look around first. Well, I'd have a look at the entrance criteria if I were you. Then it'll allow just anyone to take part. The Clash is a comprehensive test Dude, of fighting Dude, swole chip. Anyone who turns up for show over skill is gonna get their butt handed to them. 
Nobody wants to see that, right? Uh, yeah, we heard a rule about that. So, I was wondering, are you a renowned fighter? <laughs> <laughs> Me? Only a former runner-up in the Tsuhu Rock Freestyle Combat Summit. Oh, yeah. Up? Uh huh. Also, that doesn't sound like the most official tournament out there. <laughs> what? You. Nonsense. Have you been living under a rock? It's been going on for years. There were plenty of competitors when I took part. Not to mention, I've helped the Millilith catch treasure hoarders before. There were two of them trying to escape. I soon sorted them out. They tried to sneak past me under the cover of darkness. <laughs> they didn't know what hit them. I planted a left hook on the skinnier one's face and sent him flying. Then, the big guy pulled out a knife. I stood my ground, of course. A roundhouse kick sent the blade hurtling into a beam above us. Sounds impressive. <laughs> I told you. Probably a little flourish in there. I'm number two to one, but I still got the upper hand. I'm not saying I came out completely unscathed, of course. But the fact remains that I did manage to subdue the both of them. And hand them over to the Millilith. I received quite the commendation. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. But for us, even four or five treasure hoarders at a time is all in a day's work. Uh -huh. All right, we're going to keep looking around. I'll see you in the arena, but I don't plan on losing to a pair of children anytime soon. He's been telling that story for years. Yeah, definitely. Gets a little bigger every time, too. Sounds good, Sporadic. Hi there. Are you here for the Crux Clash too? That's right. Nothing beats real-life combat for honing your skills. That's what our master taught us. But this tournament is more than just a chance to put training into practice. It's also a chance for us to obtain the masterless vision. Exactly. With a vision, we'd quickly become our master's top students. This master of yours must be pretty incredible, huh? Are they someone famous? Famous? He's the founder of the Ling Shan clan, and his skills are unparalleled. Liang and I are both proud disciples of his. Does it ring a bell? You probably wouldn't have heard of it. It was founded quite recently. The clan is nowhere near as famous as the master himself, anyway. He's got to be a grand master or something. He's created many different styles of Kung Fu, and countless other clans have borrowed extensively from him. To the Ling Shan clan, he teaches a special technique known as Force Dispersal. Force Dispersal? It's a type of breathing exercise where you can train yourself to harness the energy around you and neutralize attacks without moving an inch. For example, our master can use it to alter the path of an attacking fist, or change the direction of an incoming stone. All without breaking a sweat. One time, he sent a challenger flying into the air without lifting a finger. Sounds like a vision chip. It sure is, but it's extremely difficult to cultivate this ability. We've been training for ages and we're still getting to grips with the very basics. There's no way we could use it proficiently yet. <sighs> we're clearly not that naturally gifted, or we would have at least gotten the gist by now. If we don't start making progress soon, We'll probably run out of money to pay the tuition fees and still have nothing to show for all our training. <laughs> oh my god, they're the getting grifted, fee? Chet. Of course. This is a grand master we're talking about here. He doesn't have time to waste. If you want face-to-face -face training, you've got to show you're sincere about it. The dude with a vision <laughs> grifting are, them. Having trained under him directly all this time without even a hint of improvement. Master is getting increasingly impatient with us. Nah, no direct promo link anymore, see ya. Just check it out if you're into it. It's a good game. That's why I've been continuing to play it. Recently, though, we heard that a vision bearer joined the Guhua clan and made pretty much instant progress in their training. So, if we can get our hands on a vision too, maybe we can finally make our master proud. Other reasons you can't seem to master well, we this have technique. we to try something new. Otherwise, we're stuck in the same situation. If you do end up playing CO, we've got a pretty active Genshin thread in the supporter Discord server under Gaming General, where myself and others who have been playing longer have been chatting. A lot of great folks in there giving advice on building teams and areas to do and stuff like that. Exactly. 
It can't hurt to try. And if it turns out it does work, the Ling Shan clan will go down in history. Folks will come from far and wide. Heck, we could even become the dominant martial arts clan in all of Liyue. Can't fault you for trying. Are you in the arena. Hey. The other guy embellishes a bit, Chip, but at least he looks ripped. Those two kids are just getting rifted. Almost feel bad for him. Hey, youngster. Are you here for the Crux Clash, too? If so, seems I found myself another new adversary. He called us youngster, but he looks similar to us. So you're also here for the tournament? You better believe it. I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I could walk away as a champion. For me, obtaining a vision is the final and most important piece in the puzzle that is my life. No, no, no. It's not about what I want to do. This is about who I want to be. I am looking to become a perfect person. Perfect person. Just a, you know, lofty goal. I know how that sounds, but let me explain. I've lived a successful life so far without any setbacks. He must come for money. I've passed every exam I've ever taken, enjoyed numerous successful business ventures, and seem to get on with just about everyone socially. In most people's eyes, I am already the very embodiment of the perfect person. Though, of course, I'd never let the praise get to my head. Not at all. I know I haven't reached perfection yet. Because there's one thing I'm still missing. A vision. You have so much self-confidence. You're a renowned fighter? That's not important. I have a contact in the Crux fleet who was happy to vouch for me. So they very kindly made special arrangements on my behalf. So you have a champion fighting for him, then? I've also brought along a bit of an entourage for moral support. It's such a blessing, really, to have so many good friends in my neighborhood. Of course, I also put in a few good days practice, concentrating mostly on rare and esoteric styles of Kung Fu. As a high achiever by nature, I'm <laughs> confident I've done enough to guarantee my victory in this tournament. I'm sure you have. <laughs> I seem to have gained another fan. Don't let my aura overwhelm you, though. You'll need your wits about you today. Now then... If you don't mind, I need to finish my pre-competition routine. It's not too long now before you'll get to see me in action. This guy deserves to get his stuff pushed in. So Certainly does. We're up against an inflated ego. Some gullible guys paying way too much for their kung fu classes, and another guy who's just really average. Yeah, accurate, accurate assessment by Bob. Arm wrestling champion, huh? <sighs> All right, you're signed up. Next, please. What's your name? Wait, uh, aren't you? Oh, did I hear that right? Sounds like the average magic player after Singleton 5 0 with the stock list. <laughs> Is it really them? Uh, huh? Aren't they a vision bearer, though? Why are they trying to enter the clash? Uh, I, I have to ask. Aren't you the traveler that helped Liyue fight off that ancient god? Ah, oh, it's really him! We are. The one that spoke with Lady Kuching at the Rite of Parting. Oh, oh, I wonder if I can get his autograph later. I trust you are aware that uh, only those without visions can enter the tournament. Really? But, but from what I've heard, the things you're capable of in combat are nothing short of extraordinary. You walk into the most dangerous situations imaginable, face off against all sorts of monsters, uh, even the Fatui, and always come out on top. He's not wrong. Yep, he still doesn't have a vision, though. See for yourself. Uh, my apologies. <laughs> I didn't mean to be rude. I'm sure a great hero like yourself would have no reason to lie. Now, could I ask you to provide a few claims to fame? It's just a formality for you, of course, but I have to make a record of competitors' achievements as part of the sign-up process. Bureaucracy. So far, I've got defeated the ancient god Osile, so that's one. Do you have any others? Yeah, put that down! And also, defeated the Fatui Harbinger child! Whoa! Might as well declare him the champion already. They're not wrong. I wonder if it's too late to withdraw. Okay, um, that's plenty. Actually, this is the most dazzling track record I've ever seen. By a long shot. 
Right, your registration is complete. Now, a brief word about the prize. A great hero such as yourself can surely only be here for one thing. To win the tournament and claim the grand prize. Namely, a vision. You done the web event yet? I have it. That's in the menu, I assume? Oh, we're not here for that. We're here because Captain Beto promised to take us to Inazuma if we win the tournament. There's another prize, too? Oh, first I've heard of it. Beto must have upped the stakes this time to attract top talent. But why would anyone want to go somewhere as dangerous as Inazuma? I see. So, I take it you discussed your terms with Beto in advance, then? Well, I'm sure a great hero has an important reason for being here. Anyway, the qualifying rounds are about to begin. I'll leave you to your preparation. Hey, so... Paimon's thinking about that whole no vision bearers rule in this tournament. Even though you don't have a vision, most people in Tevat think that you can't manipulate the elements without one. So Paimon thinks you probably shouldn't use your elemental abilities during the tournament. You know, just to avoid any misunderstandings. This is about to be the Genshin equivalent of Witcher 3 fisticuffs, champ. In any case, looking at the competition, it should still be pretty easy for you to win, even without using any elements, right? All right, it's showtime! You got this! You seem like you're raring to go. Are you ready to compete? Good, then please follow me into the arena. Will I have regrets not having put levels into my actual Ooh. traveler chat? Seems like you've got a pretty good chance of winning this thing. Our next competitor is seen by many as the favorite to win this tournament. His first bout begins now. Come on, let's go sign up. Y you? You're the hero they're talking about? Ugh. How am I supposed to win now? What a strange guy. Why was he so confident to begin with? What I assume they're going to get progressively harder. She'll probably have something to say to us. Are they all going to be like that or should I heal? Should I heal my thing? Yeah, the levels are mostly kind of made up things. The numbers on your characters matter. Where I also assume because like so like I have a whole you have a whole character roster in this game. And I mostly don't Oh, this is the wrong wrong button actually. I mostly don't um, I mostly don't play with my actual traveler character. So like he's level 12 right now. I've never even ascended him. Whereas like everybody in my party that I regularly fight with is like 60 and 50. So I assume they just like assume that that's a thing that could be a possibility. These fights will be mostly easy here. <laughs> I knew I wouldn't regret introducing you as the favorite. So, what do you think, Kazuha? He totally dominated that guy and did it with style, too. Impressive. But I also observed our favorite exercise some restraint, as if to protect the opponent from serious harm. Well, I've fought my fair share of battles, both big and small. And I say, after the show he put on just now, he's more than convinced me of his ability. The main story quest, you need to progress with an equalized fight. Yeah, that makes sense. So, come on. We all know you've got a wide vocabulary in there. Can't you spare a word or two to congratulate our up-and-coming champion? All right. Let me think how to aptly phrase these words of praise. You fought well. Ugh, all right, then. <laughs> I was thinking your inner poet might want to join in the fun, but I guess I shouldn't put you on the spot like that. You know... A lot of competitors came to me saying how surprised they were that Liyue's hero was entering the tournament. And since you signed up, we've had many others do the same, with more than a few top-tier fighters among them. I'm sure lots of them are here to find out how they stack up against you. <laughs> well, since everyone sees you as the one to beat, I figure I should start treating you that way too. For one thing, we don't want you wasting all your energy in the early rounds fighting people who are well below your level. Not to mention, you must be itching to fight someone in your league too, right? So, I'm putting you straight through to the semifinals. Huh? But we only just started the qualifiers! Seems like a crazy system if we just skip straight to the semifinals! Paimon! Paimon, it's okay. This is how Captain Beto works. 
You won't persuade her otherwise. Besides, Let the system be rigged in our favor. You would have made it to the semifinals anyway. Huh. To be fair, Paimon was thinking that too. All right, I'm gonna watch some more of the tournament. If there's any potential contenders for you out there, I want to know who they are and what they're about. After a long wait, your opponent in the semifinals We're finally is finally here, decided. Folks. The real show is about to begin. <laughs> the captain seems to have high hopes for this tournament. I have not seen her so excited in quite some time. Your opponent has fought many rounds to get to the semifinals. This makes him a seasoned warrior. You may well be stronger than him, but this should not give you cause to lower your guard. Very well. Show me that you are ready to push through the storm that lies ahead. All right, that's enough chit-chat for now. The audience is waiting. Go find the crew member that signed you up. She'll take you into the arena. Could I put actual items on my traveler chat or will we be okay here? I guess I could borrow items from other people and then put them back on, but sounds like a lot of work. Your opponent in the semifinals is new to the Crux Clash, but he has quickly become the dark horse of the tournament. I do not doubt your abilities, but I would suggest that you make sure you are fully prepared before you begin. Relax, my guy's at the top of his game. He ain't gonna lose. Okay. Follow me. At last, the moment we've all been waiting for. The semifinals have begun. Who's it gonna be this time? The hero or the dark horse? I don't care about the prize. You're a strong opponent. That's what I'm here for. Are you kidding me? We have to run all the way back over there now? Well, that's a huge punishment. I was told we'd be fine, Chad. I was lied to. I don't know if I can even swim this gap either. I'm about to walk all the way around. I guess we can jump from here, right? You can ice bridge with Ganu. How does that work? It seems like it goes away. Spam charge attack so you can shoot the water. It seems like it goes away before I could do that. Yeah, we're definitely about to get sent back, Chet. I mean, hit the ice bridge like two more times. I have stamina food? I don't know that I do. I don't really do a lot of cooking. I do like, I cook like exactly the minimum amount to, uh. What's going on, my dude? What's mommy exactly? Mommy's out doing some shopping. Do you help with something? Are you okay? I'm okay, just I do where mommy was. Okay, you should eat a snack because we're gonna leave for tutoring in about an hour, okay? What game is? What, um, what can I give you playing? It's a RPG game called Genshin. Genshin? Yep. Make sure you eat something. Tell Declan to eat too, please. 
Damn, the land is right there, right? Alright, so I assume for that idiot, I just need to dodge his attacks better. Looks like he had a bit of a wind-up. I will say, in general, I'm not a fan of the mechanic that this game, that this fight instance is doing here. Where, like, you spend all this time building your character up and then it's the old we stripped you naked and threw you in a prison cell and now nothing that you built up matters segment. Oh, I wonder if I can use food. I'll check. I didn't, I didn't try. And we're sure that putting items on my guy doesn't do anything. Like if I put, if I put health items on him, his health is still the same. Oh yeah, because I had like 13,000 health, right? And this says 1740. Your opponent in the semifinals is... N I do not doubt your ability. Relax, my... Okay. At last, Wait, it the didn't heal him? Been waiting for. The semifinal... What's it gonna be this time? The hero or the dark horse? I don't care about the prize. You're a strong opponent. That's what I'm here for. Sweating all over. It's a good feeling. Congratulations. I was beaten by the best. I need to train harder. Oh, leveling with a 20 to get one free wish is a good idea. Right. For a moment there, Paimon was a little worried. If you had a vision, you'd definitely be one of the strongest around. I wanted a vision once, when I was a kid. People said that if you're strong enough, You'll have your chance to get one. But mine never came. I lost interest eventually. You can't depend on a vision like you can your own body. You can if you have one, bud. I've fought and won against vision bearers before. The power they have was given to them by the gods. I don't envy it. Huh? You mean you didn't sign up to try and get your hands on that masterless vision? No, I didn't. I only wanted to pit myself against other fighters and see who was the strongest. Only in defeat can you understand your weaknesses and learn from them. So I'm pleased with today's outcome. I don't often have the pleasure of experiencing defeat. Wow, now that's true strength talking. If you have the chance in the future, please come and spar with me again. I will be stronger next time. By the way, do you know who else made it into the finals? Is it gonna be someone even tougher than you? Whether they'll be as tough as me, I don't know. But what I have heard is that they're extremely quick. So don't get too cocky. There he goes. Maybe we should ask around, see what we can find out about our opponent in the final round. <sighs> our final opponent isn't Uncle Yun Chat? I'm shocked. You! <laughs> I watched your match. What a stunning performance. I myself was eliminated in the third round. <sighs> Shame. If only I could have advanced one more round. Aw, uh, maybe next time, huh? Uh, by the way, do you happen to know who else advanced to the final round? Why, yes. He's the same one who defeated me. He is a formidable opponent, quick on his feet and swift to take advantage of his opponent's missteps. I faltered for but a brief moment. But before I knew it, he had me on the floor. Given my stature, I have no fear of squaring off with physically strong opponents. 
but faced with a nimble, agile opponent such as him, I found myself completely out of my league. Still, I'm sure he'll be no match for you. <laughs> His buddy who was getting grifted is gone. Hey there! Uh, well, where did the other guy go? He tried to use force dispersal to deflect a punch, but instead he took it straight to the nose. There was blood all over the place. His opponent was pretty freaked out by it. He kept asking him, why didn't you dodge? But he was pretty much out cold by that point and couldn't reply. <laughs> why don't you dodge, they ask. Because to not dodge is the very essence of Ling Shun Clan Kung Fu. It's just that he hadn't quite mastered it yet. Don't even get me started. I spent all my energy helping him get from here to the boat to take him back to the harbor. But by the time I got back, my scheduled match time had already passed and I had to forfeit. Lost to the timer. I don't dare tell my master about this. Otherwise, I'd never hear the end of it. Sorry, I shouldn't be complaining in front of you like this. I'm afraid I'm still a bit out of sorts at the moment. So I probably won't be able to help you with whatever you were here to ask me about. Oh, all right then. Hope your buddy makes a swift recovery. Hang in there. Thanks. I'll do my best. <sighs> we still haven't got any useful information yet. Maybe we can go talk to Beto. Surely she's got to know something. You gave an outstanding performance. Truly commendable. I could sense that you're not familiar with bouts of this kind. And it could have cost you the match. But you were quick to adapt and manage to claim victory over your opponent. That is a most invaluable skill. In Be fact, observant. I discerned this not from what I saw, but what I heard. The ground beneath your feet and the pattern of your breathing. But it is nothing remarkable, for I discerned nothing more than Captain Beto did. <laughs> He's right. But in my case, I was purely relying on previous experience. I guess not using your elemental powers must be quite new for you, huh? We sure want to is. ask about who our opponent will be in the final round. Do you think they'll be stronger than the one we faced in the semifinals? Not exactly. Contenders that reach the finals aren't necessarily stronger. They tend to have something unique about their style. As for the guy you'll be facing, his skill lies in his speed, and he has superior form. It's also obvious that he's seen his fair share of battles. What's the matter? Worried that you've bitten off more than you can chew this time? It's vital that we make it to Nazuma. If Nezuma. that is the case, then I have a proposal for you. Let's go somewhere a little quieter, shall we? I haven't properly introduced myself yet. In the land of Inazuma, I was a wandering samurai. Oh, he's another refugee from uh, there. Yeah, we could tell that from your getup. But at the same time, when you talk, you don't really sound like someone who's used to waving a sword around. It is true that I am versed both in literary and martial traditions. But on the straggling path of a wandering samurai, is there harm in acquiring a surplus skill? I do not mean to flaunt my martial prowess, but I myself have witnessed reputable fighters hailing from across the lands. I do possess some knowledge regarding your opponent's particular skill set. Given your talents, a few hints from me will be all that's necessary to bring your opponent down. Spots, Hang champ. on. Don't you think you're bending the rules a bit there? Gathering intelligence is an essential part of any duel. You must know your enemy. Besides, our favorite here has fought many battles on their journey from Mondstadt. Such impressive feats require more than just bravery alone. You betcha. Huh? Wait a second. We never told you that we've been to Mondstadt. <laughs> Does one not leave a trail when traveling through the wild? In return, nature also leaves its traces upon you. However, there is only so much that can be discerned from these traces. I sense that many things about you elude me still. These are the things I am curious to know about. Come with me. Some post-match entertainment is in order. Next on the agenda. He 
campsite. What's up, bud? Now that we're alone, let me cut to the heart of the matter. You are skilled in manipulating the elements. And not just a single element, but multiple. Is that correct? Oh, do they rotate out story quests? That's interesting. So there's ones that are just like gone if you miss them? Paimon knew that you were hinting at something from the moment we met. You've known all along. That's right. If the other contenders were to catch wind of your elemental abilities, let's just say it would cause some unwanted misunderstandings. If I'm not mistaken, you share these considerations, given your reluctance to use elemental skills even in the heat of a match. <laughs> when I talk about that which I see or hear in you, this is not poetic symbolism at play. I mean these things in the truest sense possible. Like an empath character? Since a young age, I have been attuned to the tidings of nature. I hear the breath of the wind and the whispers of the leaves. It is things of this nature that I also hear from within you. Nothing more. As crazy as all that sounds, somehow Paimon still believes you. My humble abilities are negligible compared to your incredible feats. To think a human could wield the elements without a vision, and not to mention your incredibly complex scent, like that of some mysterious being. Hey, stop evaluating us based on our smell! It's weird! <laughs> Could you perchance enlighten me as to how you managed to obtain your combined elemental abilities? Don't know either. Hmm. Extraordinary. So then, might I be so bold as to inquire how exactly it is that you learned to channel elemental energy and even wield it in combat? Thanks to Paimon's knowledge. Aww, it's nothing really. Paimon just told him whatever came to mind. It's been a long journey, and many things have happened along the way. Somehow, he just naturally learned to use the elements to it all. Honestly, even Paimon doesn't understand how it all works. Perhaps such unfathomable things are the essence of the gods and the visions they grant. However, I still wish to have the honor of seeing how you wield the elements. Perhaps it may yet reveal something to me. Of course, I too shall share with you all that I've learned. That will make it a fair exchange. Now then, let's test your skills, shall we? I like how he's like, let's test your skills. We're like, actually, what if we show you these other ladies instead? You can't run. Animal test 6308. Shiver. Yeah. 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 This is oh, long overdue. Absorption test. Judgment. Last summer, there was a limited time event that had a lot of character stuff for Kazu, Fitchkill, Zingan, and Mona. Okay. I have to assume they'll rerun some of that content at some point. Your skills in battle are truly beyond reproach. Even with your opponent's speed, he shouldn't be able to overwhelm you. Your opponent is skilled at controlling his breathing and maintaining balance, which enables him to execute moves that many would find impossible. He relies entirely on the element of surprise to defeat his opponents. In other words, as long as you remain mindful of his ability to detect weak points, then his attacks should pose no threat to you. Please, save your thanks. If anything, I should be thanking you for the opportunity to witness your command of the elements that defies all known principles. 
The world is a truly mysterious place, it seems, and one will always encounter that which is still unknown. It uh, reruns shortly after release that had story stuff in it that never got a rerun either. I mean, that's, that, that seems kind of strange to me. Like, actual game content that they would never rerun. Like, I understand, like, the McRib principle where you, like, put it out and you put it on a timer so people come and get it, but if you already did all the work to, like, make the content exist, never rerunning again seems like a lot of wasted effort. You seem kind of obsessed with visions, but don't you already have your own? Why are you so intent on exploring the connection between visions and the elements? I desire to know what meaning visions have to the gods. And what influences the gods' decision to grant humans these visions? My apologies. You must be completely in the dark regarding such matters. For allowing me the honor of witnessing your mystical ways, I am willing to answer any questions you may have regarding Inazuma. Deed in the dark so, so enlighten that's what you're me. curious about? <laughs> then allow me to tell you more. As you well know, a vision hunt decree is currently underway in Inazuma. Visions are a gift bestowed by the divine. People that have accepted this gift are now having their visions confiscated inexplicably. Sometimes in circumstances that leave their original recipients dead in the outset. Supposing each of the seven Archons had their criteria for granting visions to living beings, then does the current Electro Archon now doubt these criteria, or even the act in and of itself? Not to mention, with no new Electro visions having been granted for such a long time, it would seem that we can infer something of the Raiden Shogun's feelings on the matter. She sounds less like an Archon and more like a tyrant. As far as I know, she is an Archon that pursues eternity. She will relentlessly carry out her will with no regard to what others may think or feel. Are they a boon item or are they more of a status symbol? It's, I thought the vision, is it something tangible that they use to let them manipulate the elements? I guess it must be, huh? Cause like they had the thing in the box over there. Is it like the thing like on the characters that show the element that they have? Liyue's contracts are meant to benefit like all Like this thing on his back? Liyue. But what does Inazuma's pursuit of eternity bring to its people? Those are the, the colored crystals are the visions. Okay, I thought it was a, like a thea, like a symbolic type thing. Okay, so it's just an item that you hold. And if you, if you have the item, you then control the element. It goes without saying that the people locked within Inazuma do not fare well these days. Sounds a lot like something the god you encountered in the beginning would do. Oh? Have you encountered the Electro Archon before? With sure. time, we will change. But the Shogun will remain the same. If you wish to find her, she will forever be there. There will come a day when I too shall wish to understand the answers to eternity from her. Ah, the time for your match is approaching. Oh, right! We got so distracted talking about Inazuma that Paimon forgot all about the tournament! If you have no other matters to attend to, then we can return together. Very well. Let's go. I like that they allow you to shortcut walk over here. That's a good feature. Why isn't he here yet? Never mind. We can start by making your entrance first. Everyone, listen up! Your attention, please! We've reached the climax of the Crux Clash. This is the final match. We've seen many exciting battles today, and now at long last, the two finalists have emerged. Now I'd like to introduce our first combatant. Though few have seen him, his reputation knows no bounds. He strikes fear into the heart of Osile, and the mere mention of his name causes even the Fatui Harbingers to turn pale in the face. Introducing Liu as Traveling Hero! Wow! <sighs> I've been waiting for this moment! I'm sure everyone witnessed his thrilling match in the semifinals. But today's final round will surely take things up a notch. As for our other combatant, uh, he still hasn't arrived. Oh, come 
on? What could be taking him so long? You can't just forfeit for not showing up like in previous rounds. <laughs> this is the finals. Apologies! Everyone just sit tight! They've got no other choice. If he doesn't show up, we'll just have to postpone the match. Wait a moment. Something doesn't seem right about this. Captain Beto, perhaps we should check on the prize. Traveler, come with us. They steal it? Let me see. It's gone, all right. The vision is missing. Huh? Did somebody steal it? Who would dare do such a thing in broad daylight? We don't know when it was taken exactly. <laughs> I never thought that someone here would have the guts to cross Captain Beto. No need to worry. Even the craftiest sleight of hand does not escape nature's watchful gaze. Hmm. The culprit has only acted recently. They will not. The vision was the prize that I had offered, and it was my responsibility to look after it. I will be certain to get it back. Well, if you insist, I'll leave the matter to you then. I'll stay here and try to offer some explanation to all the spectators that came to see the match. If you would, please come with me. Um, but we're on an island. Where could he have possibly run to? Come with me. I can sense the winds are coming. Kazu is very ominous. <laughs> Alrighty then. The winds have come at an opportune moment. Let's seize this chance. Ride the winds upward. From there, we can continue our search for clues. real quick. The winds are guiding us forward. The culprit is on the opposite shore now. You can hear that too? What does it sound like? Hmm. Hubris. This way. Follow me. There may be an ambush waiting for us up ahead, but I trust that you are well prepared for such a scenario. I didn't realize we were a time that I was jerking around there. Hoarders, they're here! Get them! Treasure hoarders, just as I expected. In which case, please stand back. Going on, bud. You caught up with me? How is that possible? I had even prepared a boat to ensure a quick getaway, and still you caught up to me. No boat could ever match the speed of the wind. The wind? What are you talking about? Oh, I get it. Your vision. Drat! 
If I only had a vision. Or if I could activate this one, then you'd never be able to catch me. This has nothing to do with visions. You may be skilled at vanishing from a crowd, but it seems you know precious little about how to conceal yourself from nature's gaze. Additionally, your chosen escape route was flawed for reasons that are too numerous to go into, and on top of that, I could hear your boasting and proud laughter in the wind as I was pursuing you. In other words, you failed to meet any of the basic criteria for a grand heist, namely speed, Arch, but true. and style. You... you... But most disappointing of all is the state of the vision in your hand. It appears that the vision doesn't respond to human desire indiscriminately. Fine, fine. I admit it. I've had my eyes on this vision for quite some time now. I decided to register after hearing that this fighting contest was full of a bunch of lousy fighters. I fought my way to the finals and... Aha! So you were supposed to be our opponent! I'd intended to win the contest through skill alone all along, but then you showed up. After watching the semi-finals, I knew that I didn't stand a chance. But I wasn't about to give up on the vision so easily after coming all this way. Since there was no use in trying to face you in the match, I decided to put my skills to good use while everyone's attention was on you and Beto. I was convinced I prepared thoroughly for my escape, but somehow you still managed to catch up to me. After all I went through to get it, I think not. <laughs> I know an empty threat when I hear one. Fine. But you'd better mean it. It didn't activate once I took it anyway. It's nothing but a useless shell to me. You know, according to the laws of the sea, the penalty for stealing is breaking the culprit's arms. I saw? Huh? You're not serious, are you? Not to mention that the item you stole was a prize. You didn't show up for the final match, and you damaged the reputation of the captain of the Crux fleet. It seems that it would be only fair to brand the word thief on your forehead with a hot iron. Whoa, whoa, we don't need to go that far, do we? <sighs> I never would have guessed you could be so cruel. If this is where talking gets me, then forget it. I'll risk a fight. <laughs> What are you trying to do? Yeah! Shiver! Enhanced animal module 75! Just you I'll have my revenge. Eventually. No! No! Do what you want, but please! Don't brand my forehead, please! He has persevered to the bitter end. And now death looms near. Yet still the gods do not bestow their favor upon him. What type of character is Kazuha? He's a uh, animo, obviously. Is it a uh, melee fighter, range fighter? Put down the vision and leave. I've changed my mind. No further punishment for you. Uh huh? What's wrong? Are you asking for more punishment? <laughs> it's up to you. Such willingness is commendable and fits the way of the samurai. No, no, no need for that. Thank you for releasing me. You truly are generous. Huh? Paimon doesn't get it. Were you just trying to scare him? I take no pleasure in frightening others. I was just testing all possibilities while the vision remained in his hands. When people are forced into a corner, that is when their greatest strength will appear. I thought it may be an opportunity for him to awaken the vision. Oh, well, we were seeing if he'd get it to activate. But unfortunately, nothing happened. Yes. I wanted to know whether it were possible for an extinguished vision to be reawakened. From the moment he stole the vision, I decided to use him for this experiment. I've tried many other methods in the past, though few tales tell of a masterless vision reawakening. After seeing you command multiple elements, I figured that nothing is impossible. Come, why don't you give it a try? Let's see if you can give me the answer I'm hoping for. Huh. The vision didn't seem to respond at all. I see. So you are also unable to rekindle the vision. 
no matter. This was expected. I suppose this vision is still mine to take for now. So attached to yeah, it. Yeah, what's the story behind this vision anyway? It's probably the reason why he left in Inuen's I'd wager. The story begins with an old friend. He was once a good friend of mine. One day he asked me about a sword art of which he had heard, the Musono Hitotachi. I told him it can only be witnessed when divine punishment is administered. It is the pinnacle of the Raiden Shogun's skill, a symbol of ultimate power. But he replied, there must be one who can withstand it. There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. Then, the vision hunt decree arrived. People's aspirations were stripped away as the Raiden Shogun began to construct her ideal of eternity. While I was fleeing from place to place, I heard that my friend had challenged the vision hunters to a duel before the throne. A solemn yet brutal challenge. The defeated faced divine punishment while the victors gain a second chance. Perhaps he thought he of all people should make a stand. Coming face to face with the Musono Hitotachi was all that he truly desired, after all. When I arrived at Tenchukaku, the duel was over. I heard his sentence of divine punishment, his severed blade hitting the ground. Perhaps that was the glory he had yearned to witness. In his last moments, what expression was on his face? Before I knew it, I had stepped forward and snatched the dying vision and was running from the scene. All I knew was that I mustn't let his hope, which burned so brightly, become buried among the ice-cold statue of a god. Perhaps one day, I may come to find that all I have done is meaningless. But as a wandering samurai, I find meaning in traveling and the sprawling beauty of nature that lies along the way, while still retaining the warrior way in my heart. Kazuha! <laughs> it's just another way of saying I do as do I Do as I please. <laughs> All right then, it's time we returned. Allow me to gather the wind for us once more. Thank you, cutscene. Beta leave already? Maybe she went back to her ship. Uh, I plan to do Cyberpunk 2077 at some point, probably after their big DLC drops next year. Because they said that's going to be their only major DLC, so I'll do that and just, like, do the main story and that all at once, probably. If you're looking for the captain, she was summoned by Lady Ningguang. It seems that the Crux Clash got out of hand this time and has attracted her attention. Captain Beto was muttering something about Ningguang being a stick in the mud as she headed off to Liyue Harbor. <laughs> it's not unusual for those two to be at odds with one another. But still, Captain Beto was disappointed she didn't get to witness the crowning of the new champion. She had been looking forward to it for quite some time. The one who stole the vision was originally to be this hero's opponent in the final round. He knew he stood no chance of winning the match, thus the wicked idea of stealing the prize took hold in his mind. In which case, the Crux Clash comes to a clear-cut conclusion. Sucrose does pretty much everything Kazu does, usually slightly worse, but in some teams slightly better. Yeah, I like my Sucrose chat, and she's C6 now, so we're sticking to her. She's We're all in on her as our animo girl, okay? Huh? So that's what happened? If that's the case, then the rules stipulate that he is disqualified. And our hero here is the champion. Paimon thought we'd win and all, but not like this. It doesn't matter. As the saying goes, honor given is honor deserved. Now, let me go prepare the champion's medal to award you. Oh, will we travel to Inazuma now? Yes, I believe so. Though Captain Beto is no longer present here, I'll be sure she receives word of it. She is a woman of her word. But the voyage to Inazuma is a treacherous one. You will be plagued by a perpetual tempest the entire trip. 
In fact, the relentless rain and wind are also an embodiment of the Raiden Shogun's will to close the nation. Hold on a second. You're saying she can change the weather just with the power of her mind? Let us not forget that this is one of the Seven Archons. If Liyue's Morax could form Guyun's Stone Forest by casting down his stone spears, then it should come as no great surprise that the Raiden Shogun is capable of summoning an eternal tempest. Suffice it to say that if you wish to journey to Inazuma, the Alcor will need some time. You will be notified once all the preparations have been made. In the meantime, I intend to embark on a journey of my own. I will travel all across the vast lands of Liyue, in the hope of finding a way to reawaken the vision. Paimon believes you'll find a way for sure. Thank you. May both our journeys prove meaningful. One final word of warning. The part of your journey that lies after the storm may well prove to be the most arduous. AR-38 chat. Ask Catherine for more information about going to Inuenza. Okay, so is there more quest before I get there at this point, chat? Or does Catherine just take us there, basically? Does it cutscene us, or do we play out on the actual sea? I think I need to call it an afternoon. I gotta leave to take the boys to tutoring in about 20 minutes. So I probably shouldn't start a new thing. But does this one infringe Umizawa? Does this just take us there right away? Or is there gonna be a whole nother story arc before we get there? Probably should call it here. Okay, cool. Be lots of cutscenes. Okay, cool. So we'll open them at uh, next time we do some Genshin. Then I think we're gonna do. Uh, I'm off from doing Twitch stuff tomorrow. I think I'm gonna do some Unite tonight and tomorrow at, during the day on the YouTube side. And I think on Twitch on Friday we're going to do Magic into Snap because the crappy Snap featured location will be up. Remember, if you want to follow my whole playthrough start to finish for the story stuff, it's gonna be all up on my YouTube channel. It's gonna be part 12, I believe, heading up there now. I'll continue doing my dailies and farming currency, making my numbers go up. In the meantime, appreciate everybody that hung out today and hope you have a good rest of your Wednesday. And I will uh, catch you around again soon, hopefully. Peace, folks.